Shout out to the maker, booty so fat I call it 69 acres The girl's a dime, yeah, she keep it optimal and I'm the hit prime I kiss the intro, she feeling like a vampire Underworld movie shit, she woke up to my empire Damn, we can bite this down Y'all saw that? I was rapping, I wasn't even moving my mouth That's how dope I am, adrenaline man right here <laughs> Comes from the heart That's how we do it Damn. That's how you get famous <laughs> Letting all y'all know I'm gonna be famous one day. That's, how, that's my recipe right there. Isn't this beat without it mastered though? Just, sounds kind of funny. It's yeah, yeah. happening, man. You know. And when you put the slap on there, the, the you know all the mastering plugins. In the club. Oh, I was just about to go. <laughs> a lot of people talk about the state of hip hop right now, and yeah. you know they're saying that it's it's dying out. You know, it's going into EDM. Basically, what what is the state of hip hop right now? Here's what I gotta say about the state of hip hop. The state of hip hop is so confusing. I have to go to a San Francisco State College class just to figure out what I want to do in this music business. How's it going? It's your boy Dreno, and I'm about to go over to Kelly Portis' house. He's a dope producer. You should check out his uh, YouTube. 2014, let's go. or some shit where it's like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's four on the floor in the beginning and then later on it breaks down and shit and does all that hip hop stuff. Too much slap, bro, from the fucking speaker. There's some straight Timbaland shit like that. I'm gonna start up for you guys, it's just that shit. She keep it optimal and I'm the head prime. I killed the intro, she ain't in like a vampire. Underworld movie shit, she woke up to my empire. Aw, oh, yeah. Girl, then the beat hella drop. Give us one of your funniest stories ever. Like one of my funniest yeah, like, stories. Yeah, like the first thing that pops into your mind of a funny story. Oh, that dude, alright. So this is just one of the funniest stories that I have in my mind, right? And this is of my boy Aldrin actually. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> back in the days in middle school, we used to go to the studio like every week, maybe like every day. And um we were having a studio session one time, making something for the Shine C D. Oh my god. <laughs> He knows what it is. And so basically, right, this nigga Jen was like, yo, man, you need sound effects on your track, bro. You need sound effects, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ad libs are cool. How old were we, by the way? You need sound effects. And by the way, we were like 13. We were kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? This, this is some kid shit. Only a teenager would do some shit like this. So, we in the studio, bro. And he's like, you need sound effects. I'm like, all right, bro, what do you want me to do? Like, clap my balls on the, on the fucking microphone? <laughs> And he's like, that's a good idea. Clapping my nuts, man. Hey, just literally. All right. 13. And so um, that was pretty funny. But the funnier part is when Drain hopped on the mic, this nigga was like, nah, bro, you got to do it like this. He was full speed, full speed. He was clack, 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 clack. And it was just like, damn, Drain, bro. Drain like, lighting in the ball. Yeah, for real, bro. He was Nick Cannon in with it. You know what I'm saying? Do all the track. And I was like, bro, you don't even need to make beats. Do that. 
that's all you gotta do. So that was like the funniest studio experience I've ever had. And that's the kind of vibe we like to have in the studio is, is nothing but fun and creativity. So that's the kind of vibe I take with me, man. Just having a good, crazy, fun time with your homies, man, in the studio. You know what I'm Let me see this shit. Let me see how it sounds. Before. That shit sounds crazy, man. <laughs> Kelly Portis. Bounce that track. Bounce that track. It's probably 5,000. This was like, I'm saying this was like maybe five, four years ago that I asked, like, how much was it to promote on World Star? You should have did it. Another day in the lab. So that's what you do when you're waiting for a track to bounce, bro. You just talk about World Star and shit. World Star, you feel me? Back to this music stuff. <laughs> Woo! That's what we're working on right now. It's Aldrin, Dreno Man. It's AD, Adonis DuBose. It's Give Me That. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're doing. This is what we're up to. This is what we've been up to since he's gotten back in the studio nonstop trying to make things happen. We got a lot of big things lined up for y'all in 2014. We had a lot of big things to go down in 2013. Same for 2012, 2011, 09, 08. So in middle school, um, I remember we went to this uh, rap battle, right? Yeah. And so, so tell the folks about what happened at the rap battle. All right, right man. man. So How, what went down? Sixth grade, Mr. Madooli. One of our inspirations, he, was, he challenged us to go into a, a rap battle. So it was me, Aldrin, Maxwell Sage, a couple other uh, artists I didn't really know too well. Oh, and AYP, Alex Park. We all linked up. We was like, we're going to go to this battle. And we don't care if we get linked, if we get put against each other, we're, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. The best man is going to win. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this. So we get there, and we realize we're the only middle schoolers there. Everybody else is 18 and above. Shout out. Everybody else is 18 and above. So we the only kids in there. So we just like, man, this is gonna be a big challenge. Either way it goes, um, get through the first round. I get through the first round. Uh, I have to face Maxwell Sage in the second round. Um, I face him and then I win. And then thankfully, thankfully, uh, I, I move on to the third round and uh, I have to face this dude named Elephant, you know? So he's like a veteran in the game, 22, you know what I'm saying? Super sick flows, all of, he knew everybody, the whole crowd was feeling him and everything like that. So I knew I had my, uh, my car set out already. I had to do something real big and major to make this work. So I asked Max Sage, I said, Max Sage, yo bro, I need a one-liner, man. I need something, you're the, you're the king of the one-liners. I'm the king of the, the raps, help me out. <coughs> so Max did me a huge favor, and blessed me with the one-liner that, you know what I'm saying? Started me off on this kill. He said, man, here's what you should do. You know, you're a kid, right? He's a grown up. Just walk up to him and be like, hey, little guys, where's your mommy's at? Because after this battle, you'll be begging for my autograph. And I was just like, I'm going to use that, son. And that's how I opened it up. And I opened it up with that. And then as soon as I said that, they looked at me like, this is a little ass kid telling me he's a little guy. I'm a grown man. And then I just took the confidence from right there and just ran with it. And won the battle, won the money, went home with the title. No one at school knew except for a few people, and that was the biggest, that was the battle of the Bay. I mean, people from all over the Bay Area was at that battle. It was like 20 to 30, 40, maybe 50 rappers, and I won the whole thing. So that's that's a big shout out to Mr. Majulius, a big shout out to Dreno, Maxwell Sage, AYP, Shingo Annan for being, you know what I'm saying, being there, rocking from day one. A baby! Checking in, coming straight live from the studio. Um, as you can see, we're making songs, writing our lyrics on the screen. We don't use pen and pads anymore because we're trying to elevate our game, our lyrics, our music, overall everything. And uh, that's for 2014 and beyond. Check in, uh, find me at AYP Music on YouTube. Look at Drino, DrinoBeats.com, and we're doing our thing.
Uh, what kind of music do you listen to and uh, who do you find like your style question. emulates the most? I like that question. Well, the last thing I heard you say is style emulate the most. In rap, I noticed that everybody's emulating somebody's style. Luckily, the people who I emulate, they're really hard to emulate. So you end up pretty much just appreciating what they do and just adapting their ideals to what you rap about. So I would say Ludacris off top, and DMX, the aggression, Tupac, the West Coast realism, Ice Cube, the fact that you could be in some situation where you're not doing the right thing, but you learn from your mistakes. And Kanye West, Kanye West is one of the biggest, most influential people in my life, just like Lupe, um, but Michael Jackson, he's my number one favorite entertainer artist of all time. I like Luther Vandross. It just, it comes from everywhere. When girls was over there singing at lunchtime, I would go over there and peep them out, you know, and they'd be like, hop into my little Usher thing now. Usher is a, another big influence. Old Usher though, not new Usher. Aaliyah, that's my girl right there. Genuine, that's my dude right there. One more, one more, I just wanna say. Uh, big L, yeah. Big L, it's a big inspiration of mine. Jay-Z. Um, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a big inspiration of mine. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I would say Drake because he's changing the game in the way that he uh, expresses his lyrics in the way that people can relate to what he's saying. Since this, since the series is called The Formula, yeah. Um, so if you were to make like a, yeah. a a mega hit, you know, something that would go worldwide, yeah. Like say A plus B plus C plus D is equals, you know, the formula. First, in order to make a hit song, you need. I like to relate it to the same way that Al Davis does it with his Super Bowl formula. You gotta have players. So that means you gotta have the rappers around to do it, or the singers around to do it, or the beat makers around to do it. So when you say A plus B plus C plus D, my A is Aldrin. I gotta have Aldrin around to make this hit. That's my A, number one. Boom. B is a B. I gotta have the B. You know what I'm saying? The B's gotta be something dope, something fly. And it doesn't have to be, you know, fast all the time or slow all the time. You know, it just gotta be a good beat. You know what I'm saying? So, you got the beat, you got the people, then you gotta have them move right, you know what I'm saying? Can't be no yelling, cussing all in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Can't be no baby mama drama, none of that in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Can't have your kids in the studio all the time running around, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be a good mood, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be productive environment, having all the type of uh, right people around, the right, you know what I'm saying, setting, you know, not like lights and stuff, but you know, the cool pictures, you know what I'm saying, inspire you, maybe something on TV, keep your mind on track, you know what I'm saying, something like that. And then, you gotta have a, a subject, whatever your song is gonna be about. And you might have that be before you start it or after, but you know where you wanna go with it, and uh, as soon as you find that subject, you got your hit, you know what I'm saying. And then of course after that, creativity, that's it.